Thank Fox News alert now. from the Hill. The Senate debating right now a measure uh, uh, to reject uh, President Trump's everything. declaration of a national emergency at the U.S.-Mexico border. That, that vote expected later today. The debate continues there on the floor. Let's get straight to our headliner, Hogan Gidley, Principal Deputy White House Press Secretary. Have you talked to the president this morning, Hogan? I have not talked to the president yet this morning. Set this up for us. What are the expectations for today and, and, and the president's declaration of a national emergency and what happens in the Senate? Well, listen, the president is literally using powers granted by Congress to enforce laws passed by Congress. This is well within his constitutional duty, and Congress is still unhappy for some reason. Make no mistake, this vote today, if they oppose the president, that they stand in opposition to the American people, to American communities, and to safety and security, because that's what this measure does. For 40 years, Congress has had the opportunity to fix our laws and protect our people. They have not. The border has gotten worse. Drugs are pouring across at record numbers. The exploitation of children and women who are uh, often raped and often assaulted on that dangerous journey northward. And the Democrats' only solution is to say open borders for all. In fact, what they really want to do is legalize illegal immigration. It makes no sense. And this vote today draws a clear line in the sand of which party and which president actually stands for the American people Hogan, and those if, who stand for those who are here illegally and unlawfully. If it passes, there could be several Republicans, maybe five or six, half a dozen who vote with them. Um, will the president veto that? Yes or no? He has said many times he would, and we expect him to do that. Have you had conversations with Republicans who have noted publicly that they will vote yes? Uh, which would be a rebuke to the White House and the Commander-in-Chief. Look, there are several here at the White House who have conversations every day with those on the Hill. The president has engaged a little bit uh, with some of those who, who have expressed some concern. But listen, this is something clearly outlined in the Constitution that other presidents have used 58 times. The only reason they don't want to give him the authority is because it's Donald Trump himself. The fact is he can do this, he should do this, the American people need it, and they deserve it. There will be a few defections, we expect that, but I understand some people who are gun-shy considering what Barack Obama did with his pen and cell phone. He literally used his office to try and create new laws. The president is trying to use his office to enforce the law, which is what it's supposed to do as outlined in our U.S. Constitution. A beautiful scene playing out there behind you. I assume that's in preparation to... to Welcome the Prime Minister of Ireland a short time from now, Hogan. Absolutely. We have the green on today. A lot of folks at the White House do in honor of, of that visit. It looks like the color guard is just amazing, yeah. and they're doing an incredible job setting up for that later in the, in well, the day. Well, sticking with this subject, we know what the president has said this morning uh, on, on Twitter. And he said this, a big national emergency vote today by the United States Senate on border security and the wall, which is already under major construction. I am prepared to veto, if necessary. The southern border is a national security and humanitarian nightmare, but it can be easily fixed. Has the president been reaching out uh, to members of his own party this morning on this? Uh, I'm not aware of any calls he's made this morning. Listen, our teams are in constant communication at the staff level uh, and with those who, who plan to cast this vote today. The fact is, we know what's at stake here, and it's the safety and security of the American people. Lives are at risk. Uh, we see needless deaths every year, senseless deaths every year, and quite frankly, deaths that are 100 percent preventable. All we have to do is secure our borders. We've seen so much heartache and so much uh, hurt and pain across this country by people who come to this country illegally. And let's not pretend for one second that this country isn't the most generous on the globe as it relates to uh, immigration. We allow 1.1 million people to come to this country every year the right way. We cannot be responsible for those who come here illegally and unlawfully. And that's what Democrats want at every level. They are now the party of open borders, and they have to own that. Three more questions, three more topics. Lisa Page, it, appa it appears House Republicans have, um, have gotten her to admit that uh, the Department of Justice told them to shut down the investigation of Hillary Clinton's emails. What has the president told you about that? Uh, it, it's incredible. It, it is another example of what the president has been saying all along and more proof that he has been correct the entire time. He has said that this is a hoax. It is a witch hunt. It has been fabricated. At some of the highest levels now, the proof comes out. At the highest levels of the DOJ and the FBI, they worked uh, against Donald Trump and for Hillary Clinton. We expect uh, the American people to be outraged by this because when you can weaponize the largest law enforcement agency in the country, 
uh, against an American citizen, everyone should be outraged and everyone should be deeply concerned by that. This president has been clear about what has happened, and now every piece of evidence that comes out proves it furthermore that he was right. There's a couple of uh, big things happening this morning, uh, also including Roger Stone appearing in court. We saw him arrive earlier. Uh, this is a former Trump associate. He's going before the same judge as Paul Manafort yesterday, where he received an additional prison sentence. Roger Stone entering the court. Uh, what, what is the president saying about this? Oh, nothing. Uh, we've had a lot of conversations in the last few days, and I've heard him not mention Roger Stone one time. I mean, listen, this has nothing to do with the president. It's another attempt by the left and, and many in the mainstream media to tether Donald Trump to somebody who's done something wrong on their own time with no connection or coordination with Donald Trump. And that's what this is about. The president has done nothing wrong, but to try and link these two together is just All ridiculous. Right, Judge Jackson apparently set the trial day for November 5th uh, to begin for pretrial conference September 17th, which is what we expected in the fall. Um, do you have any hunch that the Mueller report is about to be made public? I do not, and I would not. We've been 100% cooperative with, with that investigation, given over millions of pieces of paper, countless hours uh, in cooperation. But we expect uh, what happens with the result is the same thing the president has said. This is a witch hunt. It is a hoax. Uh, the proof uh, and the result will actually bear that out. And look, you can tell what's going on uh, on Capitol Hill. If you want to look for a tell, check with the Democrats, because they are terrified that this two-year hoax that they've tried Trying to perpetrate on the American people is about to come to bear and prove them to be completely radical, completely wrong, and show that Donald Trump did nothing wrong. All he's doing now is coming to this to this White House and writing all of the, the, the wrongs, correcting all the ills of the previous administration, blowing up our economy to make it best in the world, uh, fixing unemployment uh, for all uh, groups, women, African Americans, Hispanic Americans, and they don't like it. And now they're understanding that they, they, they could have been uh, taken uh, taken in by the whole by the whole uh, hoax themselves, and, and they're going to be made to look quite foolish at the end of this. How's the White House preparing for that? How's the president preparing for the release of that? Well, look, uh, we're not really preparing for it, per se, because the exoneration uh, we expect is forthcoming. The president's done nothing wrong. He said it many times. And we expect that, that when uh, Mr. Mueller does uh, put his report out, uh, that it will prove everything the president said, well, as you just, know, the like, just like the, the evidence is showing now. Right the speculation was that the Manafort case has been managed as of yesterday. Andrew Weissman, a top Mueller prosecutor, is now going back to NYU here in New York City. The speculation was that once all that happens, that the pieces are lining up for Mueller to reach his conclusion. Do, do you buy into that, or do you have any look, insight to look. add to that? Right, Bill, I've had so many reporters come into my office and say it's going to be this day. Then that day passes and someone else comes in and says, no, we know it's going to be this day. We don't know. Uh, we expect it to come out uh, whenever it's, it's completed. But when it is, we expect the result to be exactly what we've told the American people. The president's done nothing wrong. And, uh, and we expect the, his exoneration to be forthcoming and the Democrats to be made uh, to look quite foolish and, quite frankly, ridiculous for perpetrating a lie on the American people for this long. Well, you know, right now the House is, is voting on this non Binding resolution to publicize the Mueller report. Does the president sure. think that this report should be made public? I haven't spoken with him about that, but I sure wish the House would come together and vote on a resolution or the bill put forth by Republicans that would actually protect children who've been born uh, from abortions after they've been removed from the mother's womb. I wish they'd take time doing that to, to stand up for life at all phases as opposed to, to, to focusing on some phony witch hunt. I mean, this is ridiculous, and it shows exactly what Democrats uh, said they wouldn't do, they're doing. They came in, and so many of them said they wanted to work with the president and get things done for infrastructure and health care, and instead they're moving on all these radical ideas. Focus on life and focus on moving this country forward in the future, and that's how we succeed as a nation together. Better O'Rourke is now in the game for the Democratic primary. What's the president think about that? Well, first of all, you pronounced it wrong. It's Robert Francis. Uh, that's number one. Uh, number two, we don't care who gets in the race. The fact is the president's going to win re-election. Uh, I can't talk too much about the election. As you know, the Hatch Act looms. But I can tell you, uh, the president stands for the American people. He's done that the entire time. And now Democrats, writ large, have to answer for their new set of policies, which mm -hmm. is making America socialist, 
uh, standing for people, uh, uh, those who are born and then killed uh, outside the womb. They want that to be the norm. And they also are standing for a Green New Deal that would absolutely destroy this economy, ruin people in poverty across the, country, uh, the world who rely on fossil fuels, and would destroy American sounds, lives. Sounds like a by campaign. Making... Uh, just to follow on that, you, you answered that question by calling him Robert Francis. Is that how the president will refer to him? <laughs> well, he's called him that before on the campaign trail, and why wouldn't he? That's his name. Um, sorry, I'm just getting something in my ear there. Uh, but, Hogan, this is a big day for the president, obviously, awaiting the, the prime minister of Ireland uh, there behind you. We saw the preparations in place. Uh, how's the day shaping up for the president? Um, you know, he, he's been tweeting a bit this morning. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of changes. We have a lot of court appearances. Roger Stone, Paul Manafort yesterday. It's a busy day. It's a busy week, Hogan. What's the president's plans? Well, look, I'm sure he'll talk to reporters today. There is going to be a pool spray in the Oval Office with the Prime Minister of Ireland. And, and, and the president's the most access, accessible president in history, uh, taking questions pretty much several days a week, whether it's on the way to Marine One in the Oval Office. And he'll address all these topics today. He's not afraid okay. of anybody. Uh, His the, message is strong, yeah, and you'll see that today. On the topic of Boeing, what more can you add from the order being grounded yesterday? How long would that last? Uh, nothing, nothing really to add. I mean, listen, the president had a good conversation uh, with the acting FAA administrator and also Secretary Chow on the matter. New data came to light. New information came to light. And the president made the decision out of the safety and security uh, precautionary measures for the American people. Let's ground the flights until further notice. And when we have an announcement on that, we'll let you know. But right now, the, that's what's uh, paramount to this president is to make sure the American people are safe. And that's why he made the move that he made. Right. Hogan Gidley at the White House for us on a busy day. We appreciate your time, Hogan. Thank you, Hogan.